Welcome to AIMS India's online classes. So today from our English grammar we are going to continue some questions on noun form and pronouns. Okay children we are going to discuss some questions on these two topics noun forms and pronouns. So before going to the question and answer session so let us discuss what are noun forms. Okay so noun forms are of uh, two types like one is singular and plural singular noun and plural noun and if you are having singular noun means just one of the person if you are uh, naming or uh, uh, telling about only one person or an animal or thing so then it comes under a singular noun okay singular noun means just one of the person animal or thing which the noun refers to like for example here if you see so you are having some vegetables and fruits no, in the picture like one apple, no, uh, one carrot, one pear, no, one orange, one strawberry and these uh, singular nouns are represented by a and an, a and an, okay. So uh, a is, it refers as one, no, an also refers for one but where do we use an children so we use an in front of the vowels no like a e i o u a e i o u what are they they are vowels so if you have any word starting with any of these letters then you have to add an an apple an egg okay like that Clear children? So, singular noun means just one of the person, animal or thing which the noun refers to. Then what are plural nouns? Plural nouns are more than one. More than one. A plural noun indicates that there is more than one of that noun. Noun is again nothing but a person, animal, thing. No. So, Again, if there are more than one person, one animal or uh, one thing, okay, then it becomes plural. Okay, children, clear? For example, here, so one dog and when it, be, when it becomes in plural, if there is more than one dog, we call them as dogs. No, dogs. So, dogs becomes the plural noun and dog becomes the singular noun clear children understood yes now see again here you are having some rules you are having some rules like when we have to um, uh, add uh, s e s no for the nouns when they are in a plural form when they are in the plural form because all nouns when they are in plural form are not going to end with s are not going to end with s clear children see how it is add s to the form uh, add s to form the plural of the most nouns so most of the nouns if you see they are going to uh, end with s when they are in plural form again what is a plural form when they are more than one in number okay children so here example girl girls apple apples now again if you see here add es add es es to nouns that ends in ch sh yes x or z so if you have any noun any noun that is uh, the word, the spelling, which is going to end at the end, which is going to end with the letters CH, SH, yes, X or Z, then you are going to add ES, ES at the last. Okay, children, for example, here if you see bench, benches, dish, dish. Bus, buses, box, boxes, no, quiz, quizzes, so many examples, many examples, okay, here, so what you have to remember is that where you have to add ES, 
so when you want to write a singular noun into plural then what you have to write and when you have to write that you have to remember again here the third rule is for nouns that end in y with a consonant before the y change the y to i and add es see children so what is, what are consonants apart from a e i o u the vowels the remaining all the letters in the alphabets become the consonants no so here so when you have this y which is ending at the last and before that y if you are having a consonant before y if you are having a consonant okay then change that y you have to remove that y and you have to add i e s okay that y becomes to i and then you are going to add e s where you will get the plural form for that noun clear children for example here if you see candy c a n d y candy d is what it is not vowel no so it becomes a consonant and at the last what you are having y so as you are having a consonant before the y now what we have to do we have to remove the i i mean remove the y c candy no so we have to remove what we have to remove this y and then what we have to write we have to write i in place of y and then we have to add e s okay so this becomes our plural noun for the singular noun candy clear children and puppy puppies see this is what you have to remember and what is the fourth rule for nouns that end in y with a vowel before the y just add yes see here now so here we have discussed about the consonant no here again a noun which is going to end with y but what it is having before the y it is having a vowel before the y then what you have to do we should not disturb the word the noun it will be as it is like that only then at the end you are going to add yes see for example toy toys okay monkey monkeys boy b o y boy no before why what you are having o that is an oval so what we have to do we have to just add yes to get the plural form clear children okay clear okay now and what is the fifth rule fifth rule is again for nouns that end in f or f e f or f e drop the f or f e and add v e s v e s okay if you are having any noun for example here uh, we will take l e a f leaf which is ending with the f no leaf now what we have to do we have to take out drop the f we have to just erase the f here and what we have to write we have to write v e s at the end in place of f to get the plural form leaf became leaves now okay same like that knife becomes knives clear children and for nouns this is the sixth rule for nouns that end with a consonant before an o before an o so what happens you are going to add es for nouns that end with a consonant before an o here for example potato how did it end with the o no so then what we have to do we have to place the word as it is 
this mean the spelling as it is and at the end you are going to add e s okay then potato becomes potatoes tomato tomatoes clear children now the seventh rule is some nouns change the spelling of the singular noun and you are having some nouns which are going to change the spelling the total spelling of the singular noun like ch child children mouse mice man men woman women okay clear so even that type of nouns also you have to identify and uh, write it the clear version clear children and at the last some nouns use the same singular and plural forms and for some nouns what happens even in singular form also they will be written as uh, with the same spelling and when come to the plural form also you continue with the same spelling no fish fish deer deer so we are not going to have a uh, another plural forms for them okay children clear yes so this is how you are going to identify and write the plural and singular forms of the nouns okay and now so we are also having some uh, uh, possessive nouns possessive nouns children okay how do we form the possessive nouns and how we have to identify a possessive noun possessive means what possessive even sometimes you also feel possessive no suppose if you are having a brother or a sister and mother or father are uh, uh, mean uh, taking care of them more uh, than you then sometimes you you feel possessive no jealous that is nothing but possessive it's in the sense that you feel that these the, your mother and father are yours no and they are not concentrating more on you and they are concentrating only on your brother or sister so you feel them as yours no so it is not the exact meaning children i am just um, like uh, just joking with you so that doesn't mean the exact possessiveness here thing is possessiveness possessive is nothing but something belongs to somebody okay belonging to somebody only to that particular person animal or thing okay which belongs to somebody clear here if you see um if it is a common noun we are going to add yes in possessive form okay if the noun is uh, the common one then we are going to add yes common noun common noun okay children so here if you see dog no dog then what happens dog is a noun so we want to tell that this particular house belongs to that particular dog okay then how do you say dog's house dog's house in the sense that house belongs to the dog okay so one particular dog okay so books words books words in the sense these words are written are from or else are from this particular book okay and what is the difference we have not just added yes here apart from yes we have added a apostrophe here have you seen this children apostrophe so that is very much important when you are writing the noun in a possessive form then if it is a common noun then you have to add an apostrophe after the noun and then end it with yes clear children so there are number of examples here see girls dolls again for dolls here we have not added any apostrophe because that dolls are in plural form plural form but for again girls we had added an apostrophe so what is the difference is we are telling that 
that particular dolls those dolls are these girls are of this girl girls dolls girls dolls i mean those dolls belong to these girls or they are of girls dolls okay children so they belong to girls clear so birds chicks cars engine sisters room gym's pen my mom's bag clear so this is how you are going to write suppose in plural plural nouns how do you write if the noun ends in s yes, if the noun if the noun ends in s yes, suppose if the noun is in plural form boys boys no so boys becomes more than one boy if you want to write a possessive form of sentence for this noun then what you have to do at the end you are going to add only the apostrophe you are not going to write s yes because already s yes is there here it is ended with s here okay only thing is after s yes, you are going to add the apostrophe boys ball boys ball this is plural form so this ball belongs to so many boys maybe a, a cricket players or football players so they all play with only one ball no even though they are 9 to 11 members they play with only one ball so boys ball tables legs tables legs girls hands girls see already girls is plural we want to tell that the hands are of those girls there are more than one girl there okay so hands of those girls okay and see children if the noun does not ends in s yes, if the nouns does not end in s yes, you have to add apostrophe you have to add apostrophe and after that you have to add s yes. apostrophe after that you have to add s yes. why because so we have already learnt that some nouns some singular nouns will not be having the same spelling when they are going to change in plural form no like mice mouse and all that so now what happened here also men women no sorry uh, women 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 is w o m a n women that is singular form women is w o m e n women now what we are doing even this we want to write it in a possessive form so what we have done so we have to add yes but before yes you are going to add an apostrophe add apostrophe then yes so women's bag children's dolls children's doll dolls okay men's shoes men's shoes see men's shoes as we do for our singular common noun even for here also even though it is a plural noun for such type of uh, nouns where the spelling is changed completely in the plural form you have to add apostrophe and yes okay children so remember so is it clear for you yes now so now we'll also look at some pronouns here so what are pronouns again pronouns also they are of two types like personal pronouns and possessive pronouns okay and uh, i have also given you some possessive adjectives also because sometimes we confuse these possessive adjectives as pronouns but they are possessive adjectives they are not possessive pronouns okay children so first thing is what are personal pronouns like i you he she we they okay and here 
when you go for possessive pronouns then i becomes mine you becomes yours again he becomes his she becomes hers we become us they become theirs okay but if you see again in adjective there is a small change again so i become my you become your he becomes his she becomes her we become our and they become their so there is a small uh, difference children so you have to be uh, very clear when you say about the pronouns okay so you have to remember these two when we are talking about the pronouns clear children yes now and in this pronouns you have got again some demonstrative pronouns also no so you might have heard this words this that these those no so these are nothing but demonstrative pronouns so when it is singular when when it is singular no normally what is pronoun pronoun is nothing but where we are going to use the word in place of the noun in place of a noun no yes so singular is only one plural is again more than one if if it if the object or the noun is in a singular form then if it is in singular form we are going to add i mean sir we are going to mention this or that if it is nearer to you then this it if it is far to you then that okay children see this apple because it is nearer to the hand that apple because it is far away okay if this if the if there is only one object or a one person so if they are in plural form plural form so and this becomes these these are apples because there are more than one apples here more than one apple here sorry okay and those apples more than one apple again here because they are far away those apples okay children so it is going to refer to the distance for example this that if if it is nearer to you this if it is far to you that again in plural nearer to you these far to you those okay children clear now so as we have discussed about uh, the pronouns and some type of noun forms children so we are going to uh, clear some question and answers now clear ready now we'll do it read the sentence given below select the pronoun which can best replace the underlined noun okay so you have to read the sentence and you have to replace the pronoun Re okay replace this particular underlined noun with the pronoun okay best pronoun your clothes are kept in the cupboard please take them please take them out and wear your clothes now this is our sentence children now we have to replace this underlined noun okay this underlined noun with the uh, pronoun okay with the pronoun either the those their or them yes and the answer is them and the answer is them so please take them out and wear them okay them again we are clothes clothes no so we refer them with them okay or you can also we wear those clothes also it is okay it is possible to say that but because here uh, we are referring them we are uh, referring the your clothes both these words with a one word that is them the pronoun clear children okay now 39th one is read the sentence given below and fill in the blank with the most appropriate noun or form of noun form of noun see here again you have a sentence what we have to do we have to 
fill the blank with the most appropriate noun or a noun form and the, what is the sentence dash mother is a doctor dash mother is a doctor no somebody's mother whose mother here the name it is given as renu now what we have to say that renu's mother is a doctor no her mother her mother she belongs to renu so that possessive form you have to show either renu renu's renu okay children and this it is not ending with yes no this is not ending with yes because it is a name of a person so what we have to say uh, do because it is not ending with yes we have to add one apostrophe and then put a s add one yes so b becomes the correct answer renu's mother is a doctor clear children now read the sentence given below and fill in the blank with the most appropriate noun or form of noun my wife raised her dash in surprise my wife raised her dash in surprise see here again my wife raised her either it is windmill eyebrow eyebrows or none of these so because we have a option of a singular uh, form of noun eyebrow my wife raised her eyebrow in surprise this is correct but if you want to say that two eyebrows she has raised her two eyebrows then we do not have that option here if you have that option also then you can write this spelling eyebrows my wife raised her eyebrows in surprise but this eyebrows again it is wrong because again this shows the possessive form but here we are talking about the plural form this this spelling okay children so but as far as uh, the options here so we have uh, given an option of a one eyebrow sometimes we also raise one eyebrow no some people raise raise only one eyebrow also so you can take this b option clear now 41st question children read the sentence given below select the pronoun which can best replace the underlined noun see select the pronoun here also pronoun okay jack and jill performed on the stage show jack and jill were performing for the first time so already we have used jack and jill no the proper noun name of the uh, persons again for the next time there is no need for us to use the noun instead of the proper noun we can go with the pronoun because jack and jill they are both two two people no so what we can go with so jack and jill performed on the stage show they were performing for the first time they becomes our answer clear children instead of this you will write they were performing for the first time now read the sentence given below and fill in the blank with the most appropriate noun or form of noun okay and the what is the sentence here the dash clapped at the end of the performance the dash clapped at the end of the performance and what are our options here audiences audience both of both the above or none of these who are these children in the picture they are the people gathered at a place for a for an event no so suppose if we are having some cultural activities in our school no or any uh, meeting so what do you what do you see you see so many people at a place no gathered at a place so we call them as audience audience if there are so many people also we call them as audience who has gathered at a particular place if you go for a movie for a picture to watch all the people who are watching the same picture at the same time we call them as audience 
no suppose in different different places so many people are watching something then we call them as audiences so there is a differences difference here okay so you have to just be very careful audiences and audience clear children so here we are talking about only one place one place audience so then what will be the answer then b that is audience the audience clapped at the end of the performance clear children yes now we'll go with the 43rd question read the sentence given below and fill in the blank with the most appropriate noun or form of noun again here noun form children enjoy watching a dash tricks in the circus children enjoy watching a dash tricks whom you are seeing here like normally we call uh, this person as a joker no in the circus like who is a comedian who entertains you who makes you to laugh no who shows all his skills to make the audience laugh entertain them no so here children enjoy watching a clowns tricks clowns who tricks clowns that person's trick so that is why this spelling is correct clowns possessive noun form again if you go with clowns then becomes this become a plural form so you should not select this okay children b is the correct answer now 44th question read the sentence and choose the most appropriate noun or form of noun again okay now what is the sentence the wings of the dash are very colorful the wings of the dash are very colorful what you are seeing here you are seeing butterflies how many are there more than one so many so now what form we have to use plural form no plural form butterflies but again butterflies butterfly none of these so we are going with the a option that is butterflies plural form if you go with the b option again that is wrong even though it is butterflies that is a possessive form possessive noun form clear children here you have to select the plural form of the noun the wings of the butterflies are very colorful now 45th question read the sentence given below and select the most appropriate noun or noun form india has a large dash india or country has a large dash either army armies armies again none of these what is an army children number of soldiers no many soldiers so india has a large army this spelling is correct here clear now again 46th question read the sentence given below and fill in the blank with the most appropriate noun or form of noun i have seen dash i have seen here you have a picture the taj mahal or taj mahal taj mahal or none of so the answer becomes the taj mahal clear children so if you have any specific objects uh, if you have to address then you have to use the taj mahal clear or the taj mahal for example in this a uh, sentence so before that you have to use that so the sun rises in the east okay the moon appears in the night so like that clear children now 47th question read the sentence and fill in the blank with the most appropriate noun or form of noun again so the sentence is my cousin is the dash of the trophy so my cousin is the dash of the trophy winners winner winners none of these answer is b my cousin is the winner of the trophy 
okay now again 48th question children so you have to go with the appropriate noun or form of noun napoleon and his dash were defeated in the battle of waterloo napoleon and his dash what is it either armies army armies or none of these again here also army okay clear so like it's it's a collective noun collective noun army even before also we had this example army okay it is a collective noun clear children so we'll be con uh, concluding here children uh, so tomorrow again in the next session we'll be continuing with much more uh, topics like this so hope you have understood all this so stay well take care and goodbye please visit our website www.aimstoday.in for further information regarding online classes quizzes live worksheets diy activities english classes and coding thank you for watching our video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates